because I'm taking care of my mom the best I can and here you see in the front of me and the camera here is a new computer here that I got for free or given to me free there's another one exact same model here that I have is another one it's the same one identical is a tw like a twin I wish it was working, but it's not. So I'm going to use it as parts for this one. This one works. It's a HP Compaq, and you a uh, year ago or a month or a couple months, I wanted a computer that has a built-in speaker that you don't have to use external speakers to pl uh, to listen to music or play games. This one here has the internal speaker in it. You do not have to have external speakers for it. Yes, it does run Windows XP. I try to put Windows 7 on it, and it slightly works, but it's it, sort of powerful for it. But the graphics not that great for the uh, like the coloring and stuff for Windows 7 to make it the. Uh, make it shiny for the cold bar so I had to put up classic to make it work better but I went ahead and put Windows XP Pro back on it and this case has severe dusting dust in it and dust bunnies and it was severe so I took it outside and air cleaned it out this hard drive here is a 40 gig the other one is the same thing it's a 40 gig hard drive this drive here is just a CD burner. It's not a combo. Yes, it does have a floppy, and it does work, I think. I don't know. I'm always hearing it when, it, when I boot it up, but I haven't used it. And the only thing I had to replace is the CMOS battery. Because the old one that was in here was dead as a bone. And some of these capacitors are bulged. I, did, I do have some computer. Uh, I think I have one computer that has some bulge in the computer. Not one will not work. Sometimes they w the computer will work when they're just bulged and liquid acid stuff coming out of them and here is the back I'm trying to do this the best I can of the view I'm sorry that I didn't even make a video soon enough just got this redone today and yes it's a Pentium 4 with 2.4 gigahertz it came with 512 of RAM each in each one so I just took the one out of the broken one and added it to this so this computer does have a gig of RAM in it right now I'm sorry for the dogs barking in the background and yes uh, this I have to use the camera light to show the stuff I'm showing because the lighting in this trailer is real bad. It's 
taking a while here. Trying to do this best I can to show y'all. And yes, this uh, compact uh, HP bought compact years ago, and they are using the compact screws instead of the regular screws. And people are confused that the they don't know why or how they're getting making these screws. And I will show you what they look like. There is spare screws here and uh, I have been using a uh, solid metal uh, butter knife to unscrew them and screw them back on it's real simple just grab a solid metal butter knife to unscrew them or a uh, Phelps screwdriver that will do the same thing but yeah HP bought Compact out years ago. I've known this for I don't know how many years. I'm trying to put this bezel back on. And yeah. This. <laughs> Because this is a cell phone. Sorry for the angling. Okay. So maybe in the future I'll make a, another video of something else with this. Here, I'm going to show you how to find that music that the uh, Windows XP music. I go to search on the top start menu and then I go to all files and programs. Click up here on the top. Type in title. And enter. You can see there is a uh, an audio file that says title, and this is a directory folder where it's at. The one in the middle here, C Windows Windows 32 slash OBBE slash images. That's the file that you need to get if you wanted to listen to that file. The only way I can listen to it, because you can't double click on here to play it. I think you can, but I usually uh, copy onto the desktop and then I play it from there. Yes, and the speaker is in here where these fins are at. And there you go. Me and another computer to mess with when I'm bored. Thank you for watching, and God bless.